and uh yeah there there's one video game that kind of came to mind as a 15th anniversary celebration um let's see there's a lot of buttons here that that I need to press in order to make this uh function correctly so please bear with me but we'll get into it in just a moment turn that off did you forget to freeze dry your points is my 2000 doodad fury oh man well, we'll get to that 50,000 in no time at this rate. Okie dokie. Um, so now, is the, now is actually the time for video games. Uh, and I will also press the button that allows people to join comms if they want to. Uh, and share the screen. I want to share that. There we go. Okay, so like I was saying, there is one game that uh, definitely came to mind as a thing to do for 15th anniversary. And quite frankly, if you haven't seen it coming by now, well, that's on you. good guesses in chat except I'm lying those were terrible guesses we're playing Tomba again this is the third time that I am playing Tomba for let's play the world and uh, I mean there's a couple of reasons for it I mean first it just seems fitting and second I have like I said I have let's play this Twice. Both of those times, I have failed to get 100% by like in one or two of these. This time, we're doing it. We'll see. Hey, you with pink hair! I've never seen you around here before. I used to live here, but it's changed so much. 
But if you need any info, go to the small hut on top of that hill up ahead. This crazy old geezer lives up there, but he should be able to help you out. Before you go, be sure to check all the signs on the way. The local visitors bureau did a great job of supplying helpful info for visitors. To read the signs, press up on the directional button and the square button. By the way, what is with that pink hair anyway? Never mind, I don't want to know. See ya! The 100 year old wise man is actually our second event of the game. With the first one being Grandpa's bracelet. Uh, the, the pigs have stolen Tomba's bracelet handed down from his grandpa for some reason that will become clear eventually. So we need to go get it back. And it's just that simple. We got a blackjack and normal pants. And we also have all of these things that maybe are not so clear right now. But we are currently at the, vill the village of all beginnings. See this map here? There's a lot of stuff going on. I don't know if I can move the map. I don't seem to be able to move the map. Oh, there we go. Yes, there's a lot of places to go. We'll get to all the other. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, I had turned up the volume for the opening cutscene there. Now, let's see if I can remember how to play this. Clear the fog. I wonder what that means. I mean, I know exactly what that means. We just saw it in that first video. And now there is a tornado in our pocket. How we're carrying around a tornado is beyond me. Also, a monkey there. I know what their deal is. So for every pig that we uh, that we throw throw around, it gives us experience. We'll try to figure out what this experience means later on. But first, we have a frog to take home. Uh, you can see him, you can see him on uh, Tilda's back there. If we take a hit from anything, the frog will run away. Unfortunately, I think we might have to like leave this screen and come back in order for it to come back. You can swing while you hang from a tree, uh, from a tree branch. Press and hold left or right on the directional button to swing. To swing in the opposite direction, hold the opposite direction on the directional button. I think it is important to actually push down on all of those. Oh, heading off to the old man's hut already? Unfortunately, the fog's so thick up ahead that you can't see a thing. Looks like we'll have to turn around. Do you dye your hair or is it naturally pink? Uh, never mind. If only I had my nature or survivalist mail order catalog. I'm sure there'd be something I could order from out of there to get rid of this fog. Oh well, bye. So this is our blackjack. I'm gonna throw it around, do some damage. Hey J Pop, how you doing? Welcome to the festivities, such as they are. There's a little chickadee here. Chicket wired. I don't know what that's for. Hmm. There's definitely a box in that chest. Oh, there we go. That is locked. Hmm. So we're gonna have to come back when we find a key for that. So yeah, there's usually multiple levels that you can uh, travel in. It's kind of a two and a half D game, I guess you could say. Why don't I get those apples? Oh, whatever. It's not too important. I 
see what's over here. Oh, this is something. I'm sure it'll be important later. The plant looks like a butt and farts. It sure does. Is that this door? No. Okay. That's okay. Use an item to blow away the fog. Something windy might just do the trick. And please not, sir. I'm trying to use something windy for my inventory. Oh, this furious tornado that I was just conveniently carrying in my pocket. I don't know how we are carrying forces of nature, but uh, there we go. That takes away the fog and also some of the scenery, but not all of it. That is our first event cleared of 130 events in this game. Hopefully we can get all of them this time. Alright, let's try to figure out where this frog goes. But now that we have uh, cleared out the fog... Yep, that's a fart! It's so funny, guys! It's the fart! Yeah, it's leveled up. What does this mean? Who knows? Ribbit. Oh, we have taken the frog home and got 2,000 AP for that. And speaking of AP, there's this box. The AP box, as you can tell, it uh, requires a lot of AP, so we need to come back here when we have 100,000. Anyway, this friendly turtle here is going to take us to uh, the other side of this lake, and then immediately heck off somewhere. <laughs> you want to get past me? <laughs> can you swim? Well, that speaks for itself, doesn't it? <laughs> I thought so. This is a trail to save you this time, but next time you may not be so lucky. You can't get past the door here unless you can swim. Trust me, you're not up to it yet. Come back after you learn how to swim. Hey, you hungry? Why don't you take this with you? See you later. Much later. <laughs> That was a very strange fellow. Taunts us for not being able to swim and then gives us bananas out of pity. How dare he? Well... Ah! I was hoping to, to get some, uh, some damage in, but not on Tomba. So, we got those bananas. You know who, like, who might like bananas and is uh, a very on-the-nose choice for this? I forget if I need to... there we go. Press the X button to jump while holding the direction on the directional button that you wish to jump. The length of the time you press the button determines the distance you can jump, not the time. Hey, buddy. Um, what's the button to talk to you? There we go. Leave me alone. I haven't eaten all day and your pink hair is giving me a headache. The hungry monkey, guys. Okay. Well, as it turns out, we have these bananas if you're interested. Wow, you'll give me your bananas? Thanks! You're not so bad after all. I was so hungry I couldn't move. My name's Charles. 
But you jumped up the tree, like, just before. What do you mean you can't move? I know what I can do for you. I'll teach you a trick, okay? Press the square button and the directional button together to run. It's called the Animal Dash. You got a kid, the square button and the directional button. Well, gotta go. So yeah, it is kind of important to do that as soon as possible, because now we can dash around. I'm sure this won't get me into any sort of trouble. But like, I don't know, over jumping everything, you know. And a lot. And we needed a monkey to teach us how to run. Just want the apple right now. There we go. And press up, up or uh, down, and the jump button. Whenever, if uh, if Timba's facing the other layer, then you can jump toward the uh, toward that layer and uh, do some fun things. Anyway, we got a one up. I don't think there's anything particularly useful that way right now. Ah! Wiggle out of that to avoid damage. An AD ring. 50,000. Not as much for that one. Here's another locked box. What's, what's in here? A hundred year old man's hut. Oh, we can save at this uh, at this sign, absolutely. There we go. Making characters with random dice rolls. Hmm, what shall I do? Hmm. 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 Why, hello there. You're a cute little fella. Yes, I am the hundred year old wise man. What can I do for you? Well, some pigs made off with my uh with my bracelet for some reason. Do you know anything about that? Oh, sorry. My mind is preoccupied with something else at the moment. Say, would you do me a favor? You see, there's something that is just really bothering me. You must have seen them on the way here. The red coca birds. Those dumb birds steal eggs and try to raise them as their own. I feel sorry for the cute little chicks inside the eggs. Could you go out and collect all of the chicks from the eggs? I mean, we've been doing that. What? You already found some? Hmm. Looks like you didn't get all of them. Uh, this boots me right out of the house? Rude! I honestly forgot that, that was a thing. Alright, well, you heard the man. We gotta find some more birds. Here's another one. Seems to be like a door there, but it uh, seems to be locked, at least from this side. Ow! Rude! They're probably smelly. Actually, hang on. It seems to be like a pair of eyes there. You see that? What? You found me already? I was trying to hide from you. Well, since you found me, I'll give you a little hint. To the right of me behind this hut, there's a little pond. If you go up the hill above here, you can meet this crazy old coot. 
He's supposed to be some kind of wise hundred year old man, but he just seems to mumble a lot to me. Who are you? Who am I? Never mind that. I'll see the place I just told you about, and we'll talk again later. What? You've already been there? Me? People call me Yan of the Hidden Village. Hide and go seek. I like to hide from people. Usually they never find me. If, I, if you find me again, I'll give you more information. I don't expect it to be this easy next time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Good old game of hide and go seek. Well, good luck. See ya. Later, nerd. Yeah. Ah. Well, that didn't go so well. Ah, uh, no. Okay, this is going very badly. At least I didn't take any damage from that uh, from that file, because uh... there we go. I saw there was an another branch over there. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Every time you hear that fanfare, it tickles something in your memory from your childhood. You probably played this on a demo disc. That's how I discovered this game. Did I get them all this time? Or are you just gonna eject me from the building again? The demo dice? Did you find the chicks? Ah, it looks like you found them all. Um, so where are the chicks? Hork! What? You kept them in your stomach. What else do you keep in there? Never mind, you don't need to show me. It's alright, really. Thanks to you, I have one less thing to worry about now. Ah, yes. You wanted to see me about something, right? Hmm. Hmm. So the coma pig stole your grandpa's bracelet. Hmm. So you want to know all about the coma pigs, huh? Well, here's how the story goes. This was once a beautiful, peaceful land. Until seven evil pigs came. They suddenly appeared and used their powers to change this land into an ugly world. For some reason, the evil pigs seemed to be collecting gold. I bet your grandpa's bracelet that was stolen by the coma pigs was made out of gold, too. The seven evil pigs are hiding somewhere in this world. If, 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 a local hard disk for the next stream. Now that's all I know about the coma pigs. If you wish to retrieve your bracelet, you should make some friends. They'll be a great help to you. Of course, if there's anything I can do for you, just come back here. Hmm. I seem to have lost my hundred year old bell. I was going to give it to you if you find uh, if I was going to give it to you. If you find it Return it to me, would you? In place of the bell, I'll give you this. An ancient key. This old key is also a hundred years old. Oh, time goes by so fast. This is the only key that will open the hundred year old chests. Ah, yes. We also need the evil pig bags in order to find the evil pigs. Without the evil pig bags, you won't be able to find their hiding places. Go ask the dwarf elder about the evil pig bags. You'll find him past the forest above here. He should be able to tell you everything you need to know about the evil pig bags. 
Yes. Already long, youngster. So we need to find the dwarf elder. And now we have access to a new place. But before we go to that new place, we did see a couple of chests. Let's go take care of those. The charity wings! Those are basically your fast travel in this game. You can use a charity wing to go to any area that you've already been to. Also, I feel like charity wings would be an interesting, like, charity screen name. No! At least I didn't fall into the abyss. And there is this other chest here. That is not a hundred year old chest. It is possibly even older than that. Ah! You feel right at home with the disc skipping. Alright then. If you're if you're gonna be nostalgic about such a strange thing, I don't have to move the uh, the image file. Uh, this was the other uh, race car, right? Yeah, it was. I think there was only one more hundred year old chest, so we're gonna take care of that. I think it was in the background there. Here it is. Dang it! Oh, we gonna die. Fortunately, we have eight lives currently. Well, we found the hundred-year-old bell. That didn't take very long. I honestly thought that would take longer than that. And we're done. Try again. Dang it. And sometimes you can find things in the weeds, so it's worth checking. Gah! This is not going well. Just to print out the ISO file and clean it in the, in the dishwasher. You know, I've never tried that on an actual disc. I don't know if that's something that I would want to try on an actual disc. But I will say this, like, trying to, to fiddle with, uh, with physical media can be a bit of a pain sometimes. I did... Uh, not too long ago, I dumped my Final Fantasy VII discs. Uh, by the way, that game is not on my queue, before we say anything. I just want to dump it because, like, there is a fan retranslation of the game that I might want to just play on my own at some point. And maybe I'll play it on stream, but I feel like, um, Final Fantasy VII's been done to death at this point. Uh, but the fact is, like, one of the discs, I, I had to, like, dump it, like, five times before it gave me the correct, uh, checksum. So, that ain't so great sometimes. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII would be a long time commitment as well, and one that literally everyone has done at this point. Oh, you're injured. Let me take a look. I don't know if I ever knew that the hundred-year-old man could heal you. Anyway, here's your bell back. Oh, that just takes me straight to here. Huh? I'm trying to give you your bell, but like...
Was there an event for this? No, there wasn't. Okay. Old man kisses, indeed. And I thought for sure there was an event for the hundred year old bell, bell, but I guess not. It was just an item that lets you uh, teleport back to the hundred year old man's house. Anything up here? Nope. Now on the first page you're you're probably thinking about gra uh, grandpa's bracelet. That is probably the last thing that we're going to get. Dwarf, dwarf language level one. Oh, there we go. We also need to collect bees, leaf butterflies. Sliding around these hills, there's a chance that a leaf butterfly will show up. And we need to find a number of them. What number? We'll figure it out eventually. Ah! I mean, that's an appropriate reaction. Some pink haired nature boy jumps on me. I'm going to say ga as well. Oh, that guy's gone. Uh, how many do we have so far? We have seven. I think we need ten. I think once we have found ten, they stop spawning. There's not any specific, like, exactly specific place that they show up, but I think they only show up on this map, and they're not showing up anymore, so we might actually have them follow. Oh, no, no, no. There's another one. That should be nine. We have 11. I think that's enough. We happen to find more, I'll grab them, but uh... Anything up here? Apparently not. We can just skip this house if we want to. Do we want to? I mean, the house is right here. We should really go into it. Okay. Can't go in the house. Anyway, as you can see, these things have a spike at the top. Don't touch the spike. As so demonstrated. That was a demo. Dwarf ah! language level three. Now we enter the dwarf fortress and we're trapped here. Somehow, Grognag, I was ever going to agree. The Grognag is gone up. You don't say. Grug? Grug? Why, you learned some of our language. But I still can't understand everything you're saying. I think if you jump on a dwarf and bite one more, you'll have mastered the language. So I'm supposed to be doing this, is what you're saying. Igraz, bro. 
Let me glob but glob. Just remember that everyone. We glob but glob. Hey, you can glob glob. Grog. Can grog. My what a cute a cute me. Don't touch the thing I just touched. Exactly. Yeah. Ah! Dwarf language acquired. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, you can understand the dwarf language? We have a problem and don't know what to do. The dwarf, for uh, the dwarf forest was cast under a spell by the evil pigs. The flowers have wilted away and the trees have mutated. Several dwarves have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect that they might have been trapped by the giant spores and can't move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened, but the deep forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing dwarves have been found. Oh, we found our task. We need to go save us some dwarves. Some dwarfs. The path to the right leads to the Elder's house, but everyone's really busy. Not a single dwarf has returned yet. Help! Help! Some dwarves are missing! We open the doors to the hut in the forest and the path to, to the wash tower to go look. My friend was caught in one of the spores by, on the tree and is just hanging there. Can't reach him. Please help him. Check out the spores that stretch when you hang from them. The kid who lives in this hut has not returned home. Oh, what a cute looking boy you are. But I'm afraid you don't look very happy. I'm a doctor, so if ever you hurt yourself, you come see me. gonna do without the... Uh, hello. I guess I didn't notice you walk up. If you'll excuse me, I'm trying to deal with a problem here. I hit something very special in the forest, but I'm afraid to go get it because of all those pigs. Oh, it's very important to me. I don't know what I'll do without it. Well, if you tell me what it is, maybe I can help. The dwarves are facing a big dilemma at the moment. My friends at the Elder's house will be able to tell you more about it. And dang way, uh, we have a task, our next main quest objective. Uh, that house that uh, we weren't able to go into before, we can go into it now. Also there is these, uh, these fluff balls that have shown up on top of these things. I don't know how that dwarf is not dead. about that guy because we need to uh, check all of these weird puff balls and try to find us some dwarves also this random chest in the mutated trees that contains a wood boomerang, which is an upgrade to our weapon. Well, that's just rude. Okay, I can just go to the very top there. But that coin was definitely not there before. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and equip this wood boomerang. Wobbly Wharf. Save data. Yes, and I'm going to do a special save here because it is actually possible to mess something up right here. Which, if I'm not mistaken, during my second playthrough, 
This is where I messed up. Love you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hey, buddy. Now you want to... There we go. We want to knock off the spikes, but not destroy the barrel. If you destroy the barrel, I think it doesn't come back. That's a different kind of experience. Oh, geez. Is there something up there? It looks like there might have been something up there, but I don't think there actually is. <laughs> Later, chest. I do want to kill these guys because it's a different kind of experience they give. Yo, bucket! <sighs> Oops. All of the villagers have not returned yet. I can't let you go any further. Good. One crystal ball acquired, lost and found. I think we need to push the barrel into the water. Where the barrel rolls. See those spikes that were that were on it were preventing it from moving past the poles. So you knock off the spikes, but you do not destroy the barrel, you push it into the water, and that is where I messed up during my second playthrough. I think I might have gotten like everything else but that. And as for what that does, well, uh, we need to learn to swim first. Hello. I heard a puppy barking near the spores. I don't think he can get down. Also, uh, I think what I'm going to do is use a 100-year-old bell and go get some heals. Avoid dying if we can. And that'll also take us back to the beginning of this area, and we can go take another look for uh, for these missing dwarfs. Missing dorks. Oh, there is one. Now, there wasn't a fire here before. That's rude. You not realize you could just start an enormous forest fire. That would not behoove anyone here.
You know how I said I'm trying to not die? All of these friggin' pigs all over the place are not conducive to my not dying. Also, I heard a little yapping noise. Yeah, do you just keep respawning? Is that what's happening? This is very rude. I can blame Mazzy for your tiny Lalafell name. Oh, come on, really? Now, is it a lore accurate Lalafell name? I guess it's probably not. Where is that puppy noise coming from? Ah, I found the puppy and also this chest that is locked. Papilla looks hurt. I'm guessing we probably need to bring the puppy back to back to town. Let's let's go do that before anything else. But it's probably one of those things where like if I take any damage, the puppy runs away. Anyway, I I will be in game tomorrow, tomorrow night, so. I'll figure out um, if if you want to be in-game friends. We'll figure that out then. Well, what have we here? Uh oh, this little guy looks hurt. Let me take a closer look. Hmm, this will take some time to heal. Why don't you leave the pup here with me for a while? Don't worry, I'll take good care of him. What's his name? What? He doesn't have one. Come on, you can think of something. Baron. All right, Baron it is. A man's best friend. Healing herbs will heal any kind of wound, but they only grow on Phoenix Mountain. It's too dangerous to go there now. The winds are too strong. Healing herbs for Baron. Bacon the dog. All right, so I think we have like one more dwarf to find, either one or two. So we all also have access to this area now. There's another kind of experience. So now we have at least one point of every kind of experience. What does this mean? We'll figure it out at some point. There's another crystal ball. Yeah. Anything over here? Nope. Not that we have not already seen. Wow, I'm surprised that was a catch. I thought I was taking damage there. A new pair of parachute pants! Oh, that was damaged though. Rude. Why are there so many spiders? are a little hard to uh, to navigate if uh, if that's not obvious. 
not helped by the fact that there is like a droplet of water that uh, keeps falling from the sky from some nebulous place. Okay, we have one dwarf remaining now. Pants! Sing the praises of Pants. Well, that was a whiff. Oh boy! Well, at least with these jumping pants. Whoa, how did I make that? Okay. Uh, but yeah, at least with these jumping pants, we're able to jump a little higher. Also able to fall from great distances, but that's not really a function of the pants. Oh my goodness, how did I miss you like four times? And those spikes down there, I died. Okay. Pants are a social construct. Ah, there's the last one. Well, to paraphrase the, um... The song for this game, Parashuto Tsubasani. Okay, well, here's a tower, I guess. On top of the tower, there's a telescope. Look and see. Well, this seems like a good place to use a telescope. Can't use this here. Rude. right here. There we go. Because there's a little stand there you can put the telescope on. What is that? That looks important. Probably. Yeah, all of the villagers have returned, by the way. Now, there's something that I saw that I'm a little curious about. I mean, there's this, but uh, I don't think we can do anything about that. See, there's that pink puff ball. I kind of want to see if there's anything up with that. I think that'll be the last thing before break. Well, the last thing, and then we'll go back to the the Dwarf Fortress. Oh, I just made that even worse. What am I doing? Get the little, the most of the items that are 
on this drop here, but if we hang right, we can miss that anyway. You know what? Maybe this is something we come back to. seen a child, a small child, who went to go look for fire, uh, flower seeds at the watch tower and hasn't come back yet. I'm get, really getting worried. What if something happened? Oh, so now there's a lost child at the watch tower. I'm guessing I need to go find this lost child, huh? Before I'm able to, uh, actually do anything. It's set at the watchtower, so... Right back in we go. Now where is this kid? Here's the watchtower. Spiders look high as high AF. Nobody here at the watchtower, so I don't know what they're talking about. not be able to figure out what this is at this time. Have a spider. Uh, get up there. Uh, okay. Still not allowing me to. I'm pretty sure we have looked everywhere on this map and found no child here. Well, let's go to the other building. Maybe it's maybe uh we did see that kid near the other building, was talking about that dog. Not 
here. Have you seen a small child? Apparently you have nothing to tell me about that. That's cool. I might be saving a lot for this game. Better too much than not enough, honestly. Oh, wait, I saw that. This box with a pair of cherry rings. To like go inside here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the uh, of the heavy respawn right here. Also, it's really hard to grapple onto those poles. Falling in the water is not instant death, but I only had one point of health. As so demonstrated, I am not dead. I will be soon at this rate. But no, I, I saw that guy, he's going to be stopping me from getting anywhere. He'll prevent me from getting anywhere in life. Just like a lot of people. Anyway, there was no one there either, so like I don't know. I don't know where this kid is. have any additional information, sir? None whatsoever. Understood. I probably can't go talk to the Elder yet because I haven't found the kid. Because I don't know where the kid is. Oh, and I did save the villagers. Okay. That was, that was sufficient, I guess. I could have just came and talked to this guy. Seven villagers have returned, but a child is still missing. Where is he? I can't tell you that. No, I still can't, uh... I still currently cannot progress any further because I have not fi found this child. Does anyone have any useful information? No, I didn't meet the Elder. The Elder will not let me meet the Elder.
Yeah, where is the kid? That's my question. I am asking people. Where is this child that I may that I may find him and return him to you? Ah, I'm gonna have to look this up. Now there is a guide here by David N. Um, what is the name of this event? Sneeze, sneeze 45 seconds ago and hurt your hip. Oh boy, that, that definitely sounds like a case of the old. Look for the child that is lost in the forest. Passage until you reach the, reach the last child. Okay, so. Yes, I get it. Look for the child that is lost. You did a two mile rune, J pop? Which which rune is the two mile rune? Is that the sky rune or like the wind rune or I don't know the runes in Seven Saga. I definitely would like to do more like walking and perhaps running, but uh, I absolutely need new shoes for that. And I'm in the process of seeing if I can be covered by, by the province. Because I do have a foot condition. Oh, did I go here? I may not have. There's the kid. I do not want to use an item there. I can't get down. I was looking for flower seeds, but I couldn't find any. I just want to go home. You'll take me home? Thanks. Unfortunately, kid's still with us despite taking damage.
There we go. We saved the kid. We saved all the villagers. We did good. They are the one that helped my boy. You have a very kind heart. Please take this. It will help you. Throw the cheese! And now here comes the procession. Thank you! The dwarf father is very pleased. You're so brave. You made the entire dwarf village happy. Yeah, shake your hand. Think pink hair is cool. You're a real local hero. So that was largely unnecessary, and I can't help but notice that they just kind of fucked off again. Dwarfeld is very pleased. You should talk to him. You've seen the telescope on top of the watchtower? The view from there is beautiful. I wonder what this is. Have you been to Cherry Square in the forest? Did you meet the Elder? Not yet. I'm delaying for some reason. I'm the Elder's favorite apprentice. Good for you. Oh, the courage! The courageous young man! I am the Dwarf Elder! On behalf of everyone in this village, please allow me to thank you for saving our friends and family. Unfortunately, this demo is now complete, so you'll have to buy the, com the full version of the game in order to progress further. Actually, this is the end of the demo, but we're not playing that. As you can see, our village does not have much, but I hear from the hundred-year-old wise man that you are now looking for the evil pigs. Ah yes, here it is. This is the evil pig bag for the pig that cast a spell in this village. Take it. The bag will help you find the evil pigs. When you're near the, uh, the pig's hideout, the bag will reveal the evil pig gate, the entrance to his hideout. But remember, the evil pigs do not hide in the places where they have cast their evil spells. Also, each pig only has one bag that can seal them away. In other words, there are a total of seven evil pig bags, one for each evil pig. The evil pig bags should be near the places that have been cast under a spell. Find the bags and you will find the evil pigs. Be careful. Be careful? What the? What am I doing? Be careful. You must not underestimate the power of the evil pigs. There is no need to guard the deep forest anymore. You can pass as you please. Well, first try Phoenix Mountain. It used to be a really peaceful mountain, but now there's those awful storms. It must be the work of the evil pigs. So our next MSQ. Now we go to Phoenix Mountain, and at the same time we can maybe get some herbs for Baron. Anyway, uh, if I can interact with a sign. We have effectively completed the demo of this game. Which I think is a good place to go on break. So y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we shall continue on our quest and uh, head over to Phoenix Mountain and possibly also get a couple of those uh, AP boxes that we've seen. Well, we have enough for the AP ring and we have just under enough for the AP box, so let's go see what's inside those. 
So I'll see you in a bit.